The 2.5 megawatt wind turbine has blade diameter of 100 meters, covering the area of one football field. Its tower stands as high as a city skyscraper. It has very slim and long blades. I always wonder about the massive size of this blade. Why is it designed this way? We are going to answer these fundamental questions today. And I am Teja Gayatri. Welcome back to Scientist Kids. In this video, I'll present the most essential component of wind turbine, which is its blade. My presentation will be organized as the following. First, I will share about the fundamentals of blade design. This will be followed by the derivation of the torque equation. After that, I will demonstrate the modeling of the blade using CAD software. And then, I will show you the blade development using 3D printing technology. Lastly, I will demonstrate the testing of the blade. At the end of this video, I will share our future works and how we can apply our Balinese local wisdom in kite making for the high-tech wind turbine technology application. Before I reveal the secrets in our dragon kite, we need to understand the fundamentals of blade design. So, sit tight and keep watching. As we know, a wind turbine converts wind kinetic energy into electrical energy. The kinetic energy of the wind is converted into mechanical energy in the form of blade rotation or the blade RPM. The blade rotation turns the rotor of the generator. There are strong permanent magnets attached to this rotor. So, the rotor turns the permanent magnet around the coil or conductor of the generator. This action will generate electricity. Note that faster magnet rotation will produce greater electricity. Hence, faster blade RPM will lead to a higher generation of electricity. So, designing an efficient blade that can convert the wind kinetic energy into RPM is the key of electricity generation with wind turbine. There are some fundamental physics that we need to understand to design an efficient blade. First is the concept of aerodynamic pressure, that is, faster wind speed in certain surface area results in a lower aerodynamic pressure. For example, let's analyze the aerodynamic of this aeroplane wing. The wing of the aeroplane splits the wind flow into two parts. One that flows above the surface of the wing, Vb, and one that flows below the surface of the wing, Vf. Vb is faster than Vf. As the result, the aerodynamic pressure above the surface of the wing is lower. This difference in aerodynamic pressure pushes the aeroplane upwards so it will fly. Similarly, by designing the aerodynamics of the blade to have similar profile as an airplane wing during takeoff, an incoming wind will also be split into two parts. Wind that flow through the front part of the blade, Vf, and wind that flow through the back part of the blade, Vb. In this case, Vb is greater than Vf, so the aerodynamic pressure at the back side of the blade is lower. This difference in aerodynamic pressure causes the blade to rotate in a clockwise direction. 